What's up and welcome to this video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the round one results from the Carnage and Venom arenas and then we'll uh, take a look at those results to what's been going on to, in the arenas thus far to kind of figure out what's going to happen, at least make a prediction on what's going to happen for round two for Carnage and Venom. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results of what's happened. So here you can see we've got a couple firsts. First, the highest amount ever for a new um, four star in the four star feature arena. So with uh, 15,326,000 Carnage uh, took this title and it's currently the highest uh, number now. And then that's also the case for the three star feature arena where you see Carnage also um, broke that record and now holds the highest amount total for the lowest cutoff or, or I should say the the cutoff at the lowest amount was 1,429,000 which is now a new record so he broke both the record for the four star feature and the three star feature so despite all the uh, negative press if you will that the community was kicking around after a couple folks had an opportunity to uh, kick the tires as they say when it comes to, to Carnage's gameplay the general consensus while the arenas was going on that he was kind of a trashy um, champ to play but apparently that did not stop folks in the first round of arenas to really go after him and thus we've got new records for the lowest cutoff results for um, both the four star feature and the three star feature when we took a look at uh, the uh, four star basic arena we can see that venom falls right around that mid tier of a four star basic meaning anywhere from like 2.3 to 4 million um, points to get him and um, yeah so he was kind of like on the low end very similar to what we saw for dr strange and i know a lot of folks kind of felt like this was kind of low they expected his numbers to be high um, so taking that into account plus what we've also seen with other midterm champs um, for the four star basic arena this will definitely calculate into what I'm thinking about for um, um, predicting for him for round two. Um, but when you look at the 11 to 25 percent, you can see that that's pretty much the standard right around the last milestone reward around 1.5 million. And over on the uh, three star arena, the 11 to 25 percent tier again is on the last milestone marker right around 654,000. So these um, these are the round one results what does this all mean as we start looking into round two well let's first take a look at the four star feature now one of the craziest things the differences between one round one and round two results is there's really no rhyme or reason in the percentage change you can see with Archangel and Cyclock that um, both had an increase in the the total amount for the, the low cutoff point um, compared to round one um, and then with Iceman, they were pretty much plummets <laughs> to almost 70% of a drop um, between one round, round one to run, round two results. Then with Angela, though, it spikes back up to a little bit over 100. Then with Teen Groot, it goes right back down even lower than it dropped for Iceman to under uh, 60%. So in the high 50s, um, the, the change um, between one round round one to round two results but then nebula right back up and then yandu right back down so again and, and then if you looked if you you were looking across the community there seemed to be a lot of excitement for both nebula and yandu um so it was kind of interesting to see that there was such a big drop i mean if you were looking at this and if this tr trend were to hold then you would think that um for round two the four star feature would actually be a little bit bigger um for um for carnage's round two results um but it's hard to really say you know there's no rhyme or reason to it but i mean the only trend we see is that trend the dot the, the the increase and in the drop the the peak the valley the peak the valley so we're going to take that into account even though i'm not exactly sure it's going to, to fit so i'm gonna, i'm not very um <laughs> I don't feel very secure with this prediction for this um, for the four star feature round two, but we're going to go ahead and follow that trend. Looking at the four star basic results, so there's some a little bit more rhyme or reason here. Pretty much for every uh, second round, there's a slight increase, and if, when you look at the comparisons of points, Karnak and Phoenix are kind of on the higher end when it comes to um, the the point totals 
for the four star basic medium tier champs as I call them remember if you take a look at my four star um, data science video there's basically three groups there's the high tier um, for the four star basic there's the mid tier and the low and these all of these heroes and venom being the same kind of fall into that mid tier in terms of points it's going to take and um, if you compare Venom, he's kind of closer to Magic and very close to Doctor Strange. And in all cases, there's a slight increase for round two results. Specifically for Magic and Doctor Strange, there was a 105 for Magic and then a 110% increase change from round one to round two um, results. And I'm thinking for Venom, we're going to see that hundred around that 110% increase range in terms of uh, my prediction coming here in a second. And lastly, the three-star... Uh, feature results. One thing is pretty clear as you can see here um, there's a downward trend in terms of the number of points that it takes in round two that it's been constantly decreasing so and it's right around if you look at the last couple between Angela, King, Groot, Nebula and Yondu the um, the percentage change is right around 97, 95, 92 it's kind of jumping around a little bit you can see King Groot um, it even dropped a little bit more but if you take King Groot out of the equation look at Angela, Nebula and Yondu you're right around 95% decrease from round one to round two results so we'll apply that over for round two that 95 percent decrease so anyway when you actually apply those percentages to the numbers what we're looking at here um, for the four star feature to get carnage is going to be a little bit higher if we look at the numbers and again this is out of all of these numbers this this is the one that i feel least confident about just because the trend just really doesn't there's no rhyme or reason to the trend for these new four star feature um, results so but just going with the numbers the numbers show that it's going to be a little bit higher than last time which was a record which is going to be hard to believe that it's going to take this much again to get him so again but i would say with that with that in mind 15.5 million should get you in a really safe zone to get him hopefully but we'll see now with the rest of the results of four star basic and the three star um, feature arenas i feel th the numbers are pretty crystal clear on there's what's going on first of all with um with Venom, we're, we're expecting definitely to see that 110% increase comparing to like Doctor Strange and Magic, what we saw there. And when you apply that to the 2.3 million it took in round one, we ex I expect his results to be right around 2.5 million. And then again, with the 11 to, uh, to 25% here sticking right around that um, last milestone reward cutoff, which is around 1.5 million. And then when we take a look at the three-star arena, we I expect the typical drop of the 95% drop that we've seen for the recent new um, three-star champions coming through, which will bring that 1.4 and change number down to 1.36. So if you want to feel safe, you still probably want to target for 1.375 uh, to make sure you get Carnage the second time around. But let's I expect the number to come right around 1.36. And then again, with that 11 to 25% tier, it's going to be right around that last milestone. So if that's all you really want, we get to that last milestone re reward and, get, and then go up an extra... 45 to 50,000 that you should be good to go. So anyway, these are my thoughts. These are my predictions going into round two for Carnage and Venom. Um, if you got any thoughts, questions, or whatever on this uh, comments, feel free to throw them in the comment section. If you like this and other videos that I've gotten in the channel, would really appreciate a subscribe. And specifically, if you like this one, give it an old like. And thank you very much for stopping by. Have a great day.